Hello everyone, this is Chris Eberly, an engineer at Plexum. Welcome to the Plex Model of the Month video series. In this month's video, I will discuss a solid state transformer model, also referred to as an SST. The model has been developed by Tong Yao during his PhD studies at Arizona State University in coordination with North Carolina State University's Freedom Center. The model specifically demonstrates the team's second generation design for a single phase SST. Our next model of the month video could feature your model. If you have a Plex model you're willing to share, send it to info at plexum.com with the description of the power stage and controller. If your model gets picked, we will make a video of it and post it to our LinkedIn and YouTube pages while publicly crediting your work. To view pre-built models in Plex, go to the Window, Demo Models, Menu Entry. On the left, the demo models are categorized by Power Electronics Area. You can choose models based on our physical domains or the Plex version they are released in, as well as search for them. Each model has a description along with a few references. To open a model, click on the link at the top right corner. Note that the model featured in this video is not included in the demo model library. I will first introduce what a solid state transformer is. Historically, traditional transformers have been deployed for voltage transformation in power distribution networks. As these typically operate at line frequency, the transformers are very bulky and heavy and offer no additional benefits. They are also passive systems that only allow unidirectional power flow. SSTs have been discussed for a number of years as a way to both solve this size and weight issue as well as to add new functionalities. An SST uses multiple stages of power converters with a medium to high frequency isolation stage. Depending on the SST design, added benefits can include allowing bi-directional flow of power, improving power quality, voltage and frequency regulation, and the ability to interface to AC or DC systems. Until recent advancements in semiconductor technology, SSTs were limited to academic research and not practical for true grid distribution power levels. However, silicon carbide devices, in particular, have led to increased interest in funding in this area. There are various SST topology types, and this particular model employs what is known as a Type D SST, where there are three intermediary stages. Looking at the model, we see that there is a single phase mains, in this case operating at 7.2 kilovolts and 60 hertz. Between the grid and the SST is a fault isolation device, or FID. The FID is comprised of two anti-parallel thyristors whose purpose is to limit the inrush current. This can be achieved by controlling the firing angle of the devices at startup. A breaker is also included to physically disconnect this system from the grid in the event that a fault is detected. Moving from left to right, I will briefly discuss the rest of the circuit. The first converter stage is referred to as an active front end whose purpose is rectification. The four MOSFETs here are switching at 12 kHz and the output of the H-bridge is connected to a 12 kV DC link. A second stage, known as a dual half bridge, then uses a conventional but high frequency transformer to step down the power to a 400 volt DC link on the secondary side. The third stage that includes an inverter operating at 40 kilohertz generates 120 volt AC power for consumption in homes and businesses, for example. Also included in the model is a distributed energy storage device with an 800 volt DC bus on the secondary side and its power flow is controlled by half bridge operating at 20 kilohertz. Further, there are distributed controls for each of the three stages and energy storage device. Without going into great detail, I will open the controller subsystem and we can observe the various subcontrol schemes with the logic being defined in Plex C script blocks. Running the model, we see that one second of time is being simulated. The DC link capacitor voltages are initialized to their final target values so we see that the voltages start out as expected at 12 kilovolts and 400 volts respectively. At startup, a small transient on the grid side can be seen. After 200 milliseconds, an enable signal is sent to the third converter stage and the load begins to draw current as the inverter starts switching. 
After 300 milliseconds, an active power command is invoked for 5 kilowatts, and with the storage device following this command, it begins drawing about 13 amps of current. After 500 milliseconds, the reactive power command is set to 5 kilovars, and it can be observed in the plot showing the reactive power seen by the grid that we indeed begin to track this value. Finally, a load step is invoked at 700 milliseconds, resulting in a jump in the currents and short oscillations in the DC link voltages. We invite you to investigate this model further on your own. It can be accessed directly online at demo.plexum.com slash ASU slash freedom as seen in the link below. The Freedom Center's work in this area is ongoing and they have successfully developed a three-phase SST prototype since this model was first developed. I hope you enjoyed this video on a single-phase solid-state transformer modeled in Plex. Please submit your Plex models to info at plexum.com for a chance to have your model displayed. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexum.com. Thanks for watching.